mama. This one came out of nowhere. Oh, we're back at it. This it's happening. It's happening. We, we AI cannot be controlled. It never could to be fair, but now it's, you know, it's happening again. There was a moment there where I was like, you know, what's the new hotness? I'm having fun, but I want to see something wild, something new and wild. And here it is. AI video. Obviously that's a thing. We've been playing with that for a while now, but specifically Sora, OpenAI's AI video. The ChatGPT of video. Even Dolly3 on ChatGPT has been producing better images for me than anything else. And it's all because of the language model. It really gets what you want. The fact that I can type something and it comes out and then I'd be like, ah, let's do it right now. Here's an example. A picture of a giant burrito crashing into a city like an asteroid. Just normal things. And it does such a good job of this. Look at that. I like that in both of these, it's still in a wrapper, you know? Oh, this was like a, a hit a helicopter here. This is chaos. But then modifying it using plain English, it just understands language. Show a superhero trying to stop the burrito. <laughs> <laughs> the burrito is so pristine. Look at that. That's a good burrito. Wait, who's this guy up here? Is this another superhero? Is that the dude who summoned the burrito? That's a villain. Actually, change the burrito into a giant white sphere with a duck beak and beady black eyes. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I mean, that's, I mean okay, well. Oh, it's alien Superman now. Wow, yeah, okay. Um. Anyways, you get the point. Bit of a tangent. Point is, it just knows what you're saying. And you can just go back and forth and just create these incredible images. And today, they revealed Sora, which is a text to video model. This stuff just looks awesome. All videos on this page were generated directly by Sora without modification. We're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion with the goal of training models that help people solve problems that require real world interaction. I love that. Let's solve some problems. Oh, but we need real world interaction? Well, we gotta fix that. We can't be having that. Am I leaving the house? No. ChatGPT, show me inside my house. It's snowy out and I hate it. <laughs> That's me for sure. <laughs> Introducing Sora, our text-to-video model. Sora can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. Current AI video stuff doesn't last long. Like we're talking a few seconds and then the longer you make it, it just gets blurrier and weirder and it's very rarely right? The best you can get is by feeding it an existing image and making that move or an existing video. Not to say you can't make some decent stuff, but it's not like we're seeing here. Like, here you go. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with a warm, glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots. More. And carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of the colorful lights. Many pedestrians, pred, pred, pedestrians walk about. Yeah, look, wow, like it's a minute. I don't think any, we're hyped enough about this right now. It changed here, you know, like that's what's interesting to me. Do you see this, right? Like it, the reflection, you know, it, now we've got to zoomed in. I can't, you, I've done a lot of AI video stuff, you know, and I've never seen this. This is wild. But I am gonna say again, it is kind of funny seeing people, because I've seen a few people be like, oh my God, AI video is here. I'm like, Let's be very clear, it has been, you know? We've seen stuff for, what, a year? Longer than a year now? We've been fully usable on many different platforms. You can do it yourself on your own computer, you know? But a minute and this. Wow, 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 wow. Giant woolly man this approach. Like this is a movie trailer? Like look. Oh my God, content is gonna be just crazy, guys. I'm gonna make the stupidest things. What the? Look, like drone view? How would you even tell this is f fake? Like this one was is good. You know, like weird 3D art stuff. There's always little tiny weirdnesses. You can totally see it, but it's just like, look at Good God, papercraft coral reef? Uh, guys, this is, oh, that's a funny turtle. Th like, it's changing shots. I can't, oh, it's insane. It's got a stupid pigeon. Chips in a coffee cup. A sky person. Reading a book. Yeah. It's always mouth. That's what gives it away. It looks like we haven't figured that one out. It's not, that, it's really not that bad. It's, it's always strange. Today, Sora is becoming available to red teamers. 
red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or red or luck to some. A red team is a group that pretends to be an enemy. A red teamer is a cybersecurity professional. Oh, they're trying to break it, you know? We are also granting access to a number of visual artists, designers, filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be most helpful for creative professionals. I'd love that. Open AI, reach out to me. I'm gonna I'm a make it up. We're, you know? I'm not that cool. I don't think I'm that cool. I mean, I... We're sharing our research progress early to start working with and getting feedback from people outside of OpenAI and to give the public a sense of what AI capabilities are on the horizon. Look at this stuff, man. Look at this. Look at this little sweeping dude. Eyeball. Yeah, you can definitely see that. Like, that looks animated. It's always the, like, facial features that give it away. Hey, it's Kangaroo Jack. Wait. Okay, there was weirdness here. Did you see that? Look at the start of this. Pay, pay attention to how how small everybody is, but then look at these people. These people are massive. They're just hanging out in a village of tiny people. I've never been to Nigeria. For all I know, that's exactly how it is, you know? There are literal microscopic people there. What am I, a scientist? Tiny red pandas in a petri dish. Like, this is so cool, man. It's funny because people are like almost bored with AI images already, you know? And then just the amount of fun that's gonna come from this. Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion and accurate details of the subject and background. The model understands not only what the user has asked for in the prompt, but also how those things exist in the physical world. Danver, Danover. Whoa, the reflections in the window. Yeah, it does a really good job of these just like drone shots of landscapes. Wow, look at that. Octopus fighting a crab. Come on, Team Octopus. Crab, back off, dude. Wow. Honestly, that's the most I've been impressed with these yet. If you watch the crab, sometimes its legs kind of like kind of disappear in and out. Same with some of the suckers on octopi are weird, right? I, I can just be like, oh, you know, that's just how their suckers be. This one's very impressive. This is pretty good too. The cat moves like everyone moves. So what the heck? Oh, wow, look at that. It's like poking her in the, I know this all too well. This, this animal does this. You don't you? You poke me in the face like that. And I'm like, stop, stop. And all she wants me to do is acknowledge, right? I go like, don't poke me. And she's happy, aren't you? She's not happy to be held right now. The model has a deep understanding of language, enabling it to accurately interpret prompts and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. Sora can also create multiple shots within a single generated video that accurately persist character and visual style, which we saw before, right? We saw just like when the shot changes and zooms in or a minute long, I, we can't. How expensive is this gonna be, man? The story of a robot's life in a cyberpunk setting, right? Just shows it going around. Again, it's it's this content creator. It's fascinating. Look how unreal these are. Wow. Ooh, this one's really good. Look at that. Hee <laughs> hee. Puppies. The current model has weaknesses. It may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterwards the cookie may not have a bite mark. The model may also confuse spatial details of a prompt. For example, mixing up left and right, and may struggle with precise descriptions of events that take place over time, like following a specific camera trajectory. So here we're looking at weaknesses, right? So this one, physically implausible motion. <laughs> yeah, running backwards. You know what's funny is I've looked at this video so much now, and until I actually read that there's a weakness, I just didn't, I don't know, my brain didn't even register that it's a dude running backwards. It's classic. Animals spontaneously appearing. Yeah, one, two. How many wolves? Yeah, they're just popping out of, up out of nowhere, but... But did you see the duck sphere? You were so distracted with the wolves. I'm not even lying, go back. I put a duck sphere. Basketball through hoop, then explodes. Yep. In this example, Sora fails to model the chair as a rigid object. Let's see. So they're picking up the chair like, wow, look at this. We found this ancient chair. Oh, oh! Where's, where's the chair going? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! And he's like, stop! <laughs> oh no, the saddest part of all of this is it's gonna get so good that like, this absolute gem of comedy. It was just like when the glue bow, right? Funny words. They don't happen as much anymore. She doesn't blow out the candles. She's just laughing. Okay. Oh, this is good. I do enjoy all of this. Look, what everyone's doing. It take, watch this multiple times. Every time watch a different person. The person on the left. Person in the front, you know. Hey! Yeah, this is good. I enjoy that though. A lot of text here. I'm gonna do the spark notes. Red teamers, we learned this. They're gonna work on misinformation, hateful content, and bias. Ooh, they're also trying to help detect if it was generated using Sora. This is good. They're gonna include some metadata and stuff. It's definitely an important step, but you never, you know, weird times ahead. These are so good. How is it attached to this dog? Look how floofy this much. Oh, wow! I didn't. 
Unexpected. I didn't read the prompt. That's amazing. Wow. That's so cool. He's got so many fingers. It's just unreal. Sora is capable of generating entire videos all at once or extending generated videos. The model will also be able to take an existing still image or existing video Ooh, or fill in missing frames. That's interesting. Someone's going to steal this idea, but I don't care because I'm going to throw it out there. I film, say myself, right? Frame one, but then frame two in a totally different spot and cut out the middle, you know, and let it figure out how I got there. That's gonna be comedy gold. Patented, that's mine. That's a green skull goof, Sora. So there we go. My thoughts on the matter. It's the same way I feel about like all AI things, right? I have a lot of friends in film and the like who are you know, terrified by this. And I sympathize with, with everyone who this is, this is a world shaking, industry changing tech. It's gonna displace a lot as has modern AI in general, but it's just such a, unstoppable force, you know? I think everyone's best bet is to really pay attention and use it and incorporate these things into your workflows. If you're in an industry that you're afraid of AI messing with, that's, I mean, what won't it mess with, you know? It's, what the heck is happening, man? <laughs> it's crazy. But play with it. Play with it yesterday. Download it to your PC, you know? Run these things yourselves. Mess with them. Incorporate this technology. It's an amazing tool. What a time to be alive. There we go. Not my usual kind of video. You know, normally there's a lot more fun and entertainment around here, but this just feels like such an important event, especially for where I can see this channel going once this kind of stuff gets better. We're gonna make some wild stuff. We're gonna make some humorous content over here. Thank you for watching. If you stumbled upon this video and you are not subscribed, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. So you can stay up to date on all the wild stuff that is a coming. Thank you. Hit the like. Usual stuff. See you next video.